words are powerful. Even your jokes can turn against you. Welcome to today's DDRX. We've been looking at symptoms and signs of causes. You know, how to know if one is under a cause. Proper diagnosis is essential for true remedy. And to recognize a cause, you must know the picture it creates. Today, I also have in the studio uh, another guest, Fee. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Um, so the question I have, can we say infertility or barrenness is a sign or a symptom of curses? Okay, we have some female problems. Uh, the reason being that people are snared by the words of their mouth. You are, the Bible says in Proverbs 6 verse 2, you are taken by the words of your mouth. Words are powerful. Even your jokes can turn against you. So there are girls who have jokingly said, I don't want to marry. And today, they are still unable to marry, even though they are beautiful and now desired to be married. So we have some female problem. You know, this cause affects the area of reproductivity. Uh, barrenness and lack of productivity are often symptoms of a cause. So maybe as a result of a cause, because there are other causes for barrenness and lack of productivity. For example, in Deuteronomy 28 verse 18, a cost shall be the fruit of your body and the produce of your land, the increase of your cattle and the offspring of your flock. So it can also manifest in recurrent miscarriages cause. Miscarriages can be the result of idolatry in the bloodline. So causes can manifest in you know, in barrenness. In Osea 9, 13 to 14, just as I saw Ephraim like that planted in a pleasant place. So Ephraim will bring out his children to the Modra. Give them, O oh Lord, what will you give them? Give them a miscarrying womb. You see, miscarrying womb and dry breast. So cause can manifest in some female problems. But let's say blessing together. In Exodus 23, 26, no one shall suffer miscarriage or be barren in your land. I will fulfill the number of your days. Thank you.